da draußen. Hier ist Lea von Nerdplay. Jenny und ich, wir waren letztens auf der Comic-Con in Dortmund, der Spring Edition. Und da hatten wir die Gelegenheit, gleich drei Cosplay-Roundtables zu machen. Ja, und einen davon wollen wir euch heute schon mal zeigen. Und zwar das Gespräch mit Lucid Bell. Es ist eine Direktaufnahme von der Con, also man hört wahrscheinlich auch ein bisschen das Publikum. Ich wünsche euch viel Spaß. <lacht> Hello, hello again! Comic Con, wie geht's? Alles gut? Sehr schön. Ich habe ein Schwert in der Hand. Es gehört nicht mir, sondern Lucid Bell. Und ich werde nämlich jetzt auf Englisch switchen, damit Lucid mich auch versteht. Und bitte applaudiert mal ganz kräftig für unsere internationale Künstlerin Lucid Bell! You look so amazing, I can't. Wow, this outfit, honey. Hello. It's getting hotter every day. I wear this to the office. <laughs> so we will get a microphone in front of you. So if there are any questions, cosplay, whatever, you can ask Lucy if you want to. Ah, there's the microphone. Perfect. So just... Go there, ask a question, I will, I will look. Ah, how are you today, girl? Are you fine? Are you okay? How do you feel? Yeah, I'm okay. I um, had a good night of sleep ah. because I've been very busy with running around the convention the entire day. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm pretty well rested. It's nice weather out and it's good for my mood. <laughs> We have a first question, Pavis. Would you like to marry me? No question. Oh, just kidding, just okay. kidding, just kidding. English um, only, please. <laughs> just kidding. How did you get the idea to start with cosplay? So what was the effect? Was this maybe a comic or any other thing that has inspired you that you think, okay, this is it and I start with that? Well, um, I was already interested in visiting conventions because of my interests in games and anime and manga. So I was already visiting, but then just in Japanese street style clothes, And at one point, one of my friends said, well, let's just go try cosplay for one time and then do an evolutions group so that everybody would do like a different version of it. And at first I was like, cosplay looks really cool, but I don't know if it's something for me. <clears throat> so I, uh, I tried it out and then I was like, well, actually, this is really fun. And then... I got obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone. And, and, and now we're here sitting in funky costumes, so <laughs> pretty much like that. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you come from the Netherlands That's with right. the train, with your tent. <laughs> <laughs> I need to repeat it all the time because I love the tent and uh, we need to find a name for it, for your tent today. Yesterday yeah. we talked about it. <laughs> yeah, we should. Do you have any cool ideas? Hmm. Oh, Pavis, do you have an idea? Her, a name for her tent? She has like a real cool tent there. Do you have a name? Pardon? I can't understand you. Can you go to the microphone, please? <laughs> I'm talking about our P word, but I can't speak it out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> What about like like a German name, like like a casual German name, Klaus? That could be possible. Klaus, I yeah. think Klaus fits for a tent. <laughs> Maybe we just introduce it now. <laughs> oh, a question. No, it's not a question. It's a suggestion for her name. Pardon? It's a suggestion for her name. I will so, say. A suggestion for the name for I the will, name of the tent. I will say Barbie Malibu. <laughs> Bambi Malibu, I love it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> very good. That's also very cool. Thank I like you. that. <laughs> How long did it take for you to get into costume today? Um, I think. How many hours did you need? Oh, more than an hour. <laughs> I I think uh, with with the hair and makeup. Yeah. I think maybe two hours. Two hours. Wow. Yeah, because I really have to shimmy myself yeah. into this thing. <laughs> It's like a suit underneath or tights. You want to look Ooh, at the back? Yeah, I want to look at your... She's looking at my back. 
<laughs> Booty talk. <laughs> well. Well. <laughs> I mean, it's there. I don't mind. Yeah, it. I love it. It looks amazing. Thank you. And um, this morning, I was like a bit stalking you online. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Checking you out. And I saw you have an OnlyFans account. That is and right. And I love that. Did what you are you up? showing there? <laughs> What are you showing on your OnlyFans account? Wait, what, what are you showing on your OnlyFans account? What Pic we, what pictures? Well, um, it's like sexy a bit, content. It's like a little bit separate Instagram yeah. account, but you know, it's not Instagram like because there's many things you cannot post on Instagram without your account being deleted. <laughs> so it's like a separate feed where I post more pictures of different costumes or characters that are not wearing the costume as much, but maybe yeah. what they're wearing underneath. Yeah. So um, I have like many photo sets that I offer there and talk with my fans because I cannot really reply to every message I get in my Instagram inbox can be so yeah, overwhelming, just really. Overwhelming, so, lot messages. So. Yeah, so if you, if you really want to like have extensive conversations, then on my OnlyFans is a place to be. Perfect. Yeah. Are you doing like... Um, discussion talks with your fans like uh, a monthly video talk or so or is, is it just like chatting um it's chatting sometimes i also get like audio requests Aww, or sweet. Um, yeah or video requests or Aww. stuff like that so it really so you're depends. doing that too yeah Aww. everything for the fans yeah I <laughs> but i mean they're also really sweet most are just really yeah. sweet and then um, or they, or they, if they order a print or something for somebody else, maybe, and they ask like, "I want this little story because I'm giving it to that person," then <laughs> I'll put it on and then send it to them. So. Did you also have like crazy fan requests? Yes. <laughs> I bet that <laughs> we won't get into detail. <laughs> I will not. Yeah. I will not be getting into that. But <laughs> cringe stuff. Some requests are very, um, very, very. Uh, uh, not <laughs> too my much thing. details. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it happens. So let's talk about your awesome costume today. Thank you. Uh, it's based on a video game. Yes, that's it? right. It it's is. It's of a uh, fighting game Ooh. called Soul Calibur. Personally, I really enjoy fighting games, so <laughs> I like to cosplay a lot of characters yeah. from them. In the Netherlands, you don't really see that many characters out of fighting games, so... That's true. It's, um, I always get super excited when I see somebody else in a fighting game cosplay, but... <laughs> but not a yeah, lot of at people... At least yeah, I will be the one and, and Not the, a lot of women do it, I think, in cosplay. I, I haven't seen it so, so often. You mean in the Netherlands? Uh, in, here in Germany. I, I, I've never been to the Netherlands to a convention, oh. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> um, well, I, I did see some more video game cosplay, but I also think that it's... Um, oh. Oh. Sorry, oh, guys, I just are you got okay? distracted because Ooh. the entire thing is falling. See, I'm using my magic Everyone powers. Everyone is put fine, the hopefully. <laughs> okay, everything's fine. I hope. Okay. You don't have to worry. <laughs> Harvest will check it out. <laughs> I want everybody to stay safe, please. <laughs> so, um, how much does German Comic Con differ from convention in the Netherlands? Are um, there like similarities or do you think it differs a lot? Um, well, I do think that, uh, well, first of all, the location where it's being held is bigger huh. than what I've experienced in the Netherlands. So the conventions um, in the Netherlands also, are smaller. Well, yeah. Sometimes, oftentimes they're smaller. It depends on if it's outdoor ah, or okay. indoor as well. But this building is, I think, a bit bigger than yeah, it's really Comic big. Con. It's, I think, it's one of the biggest conventions location-wise. Yeah, I don't know, but but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I I'm, I'm a sucker for buildings, so I just really like yeah. how it's. Oh, it's nice. Clean the looking. Glass. Yeah, oh, that, that, looks so I really amazing. enjoy that. And the people, are they like different? Are they more friendly? <laughs> or do um, you think like the Germans are here very cool and chilled and relaxed? Or is well, it like yeah, all the same? Well, no, they're just still the people yeah. I've met. People, all just, just people. really nice. <laughs> yeah, just, and um, just having little chats about your costume or, oh. or how you made things. So 
So night. people can come up to your booth and yes. check out your photos and they can ask you questions about yes. your cosplay, right? Yeah, or how I made it or, you know, Everything. anything cosplay related, really, <laughs> yeah. And yesterday we had the honor that you were our judge at the cosplay contest. Yes. How was it for you? Did you enjoy it? How was like all the cosplays? I always enjoy judging because you always see so many amazing costumes. Yeah, and just, it's so much fun. You know, the, the creating part of cosplay is what I enjoy very much as well. So it was awesome to see all the contestants and some people were there for the first time joining in. So it's also great to talk to them and give them a little bit more confidence mm. to keep on doing it yeah. because something like that can really change your it view can, on certain it can. things. Yesterday yeah. we had like a lot of people um, who are new on the cosplay scene, like it was their first um, contest, it was their first cosplay, and I think it can, it can boost your self-confidence, mm -hmm. it can change so much yes. if, you, if you're brave, if you, if you trust in yourself, like yes. just go up on that stage and yeah. rock this shit. Yeah, right? and, then, and then afterwards you have the feeling that, oh yeah, I actually did that <sighs> even though I was scared and then it just feels amazing. Yeah. It just feels great. And I also saw on your website that you already won some costume contests. That's that right. right. Yeah. I already won a couple. I just saw first place, first place, second place. And I was like, wow, this girl is a lot. I love it. Yeah. I um, enjoy competing also. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to join in two competitions again this year. So oh, I'm yeah? looking forward to it. Yeah. Cool. The next one is actually next weekend. Next weekend? Yes. Oh, in the Netherlands in, or in where? In the Netherlands, yes. W what convention is it? The name of the convention is Heroes Made in Asia. Ah. Oh. And um, Cool. Yeah, well, it's next weekend. I already started on upgrading my costume for it, of course. What will you wear? I'll, I'll be... I will be wearing Devil Kazumi. It's also from uh, a fighting game. Cool. But it's like a Japanese demon with giant flaming wings. So I will put like fire in it. Yeah. Well, not real fire, but lights and Fingers making it look like for fire. You. I yeah. can't wait to see your costume. I'll be so taking cool. many pictures of it. Yeah, hopefully, because we can check you out on Instagram, right? Yes, on Instagram, on Facebook. I also have my own website where all my links are. Everywhere, Lucid just, Bell. Just, just Lucid Bell. You can Google it and yeah, then you get yeah. all the hits. <laughs> yesterday we joked about just Google <laughs> Lucid Bell and you will find everything of her. <laughs> just, just Google me. Yeah. <laughs> and you have a link tree in your Instagram where everything is linked up. Yes. That's, that yes. was amazing so for me. That's easy to find. <laughs> Because so I could check out, uh, yeah, there are OnlyFans, Ko-Fi, everything. <laughs> you can pretty much find it there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and today, what are your plans? Um, If you have some, I mean, we will have lunch in a in a sack. Well, I I do want to check out the cosplay catwalk because hopefully we need you there. Yeah, I we will definitely need come you and watch. There. I would love to see it. Our um, our cosplay guests will do the entry of the cosplay uh, catwalk later on, Ooh. so we can chat about that later. Jenny will chat about that with you. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so, guys, I think time is almost over. Is it? Is it? I don't know. Jenny, what are you saying? We have five minutes left. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Perfect. So, if there are any like, burning questions, yeah. run up to the if microphone right now because this is your right last now. chance. This is urgent. <laughs> Can you tell me what was like the hardest thing to do sure. in, for your costume, for this costume? Was it the the leather work or was it like doing, oh my God, the shoes? I just saw that these are heels. Oh my gosh. Yes. I, mean, I like always, always also struggle walking in this one. Oh, my shoes are gone. Okay. <laughs> Next problem later. Yeah. I just suffer with heels. It looks amazing. But that's, that's part of my costume. So yeah. I just turn that pain into beauty <laughs> and it works. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. <laughs> and what what was the hardest thing to craft? Was it the skull, maybe? Um, Because yeah, it's, I, I it's a big thing. It was, yeah, I think the skull. 
took the most work wow. or like the pauldron. Can you show like, it? Ooh. I have a big um, yeah armor. Wow. On the, what is on, it made of? On the arm part. I made it out of foam, out of warbler wow. and paper clay. Oh. And um, rope, actually. I also Ooh. use that to make the details on the top. Amazing. Oh, like oh, maybe I just love it. Show a little more like this. But you can come up to the booth if you yeah. want to take a look. <laughs> is it possible to get in this costume alone? Yes. Yeah, it is? Wow. <laughs> yeah, it took a couple of months uh. to finish, but it was worth it. It looks so good. I just love it. Can you, can you please stand up for me? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, like maybe. Yes! Walk Do the thing. Circle around the chair just for Woo! You. Hi. Because Ivy oh is not gosh. afraid of anyone. Oh gosh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, Aimo Cosplay told me this morning that you had some struggles with your contact lenses. Yes, I thought I forgot them at the hotel room. Oh. So I had a small panic. Because Ivy has really blue eyes. So it was like, oh no, now everybody will be angry and unfollow me and, no, and, and, and be, no. be mad and, and feel like no. No one deserted ever because I, I showed up with brown eyes instead of blue. So I was really... No. But then I still found them, so oh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Have you uh, hidden them in the tent? <laughs> I, I left them at the stand, yeah. yeah. I was looking for them in the hotel room and they were not there because they were here. <laughs> so, okay. any questions left? Pavis, Pavis, perfect. Last question? Um, I think... Uh, on a convention, everything can happen. But can you maybe remember, if you're looking back, your most weirdest um, moment at a convention? Maybe some <laughs> unusual happen, some thing go wrong that should not go wrong. Yesterday's pizza party. <laughs> like, the, the, like the most fun convention to visit? Oh, uh, no, uh, just, just your um, weirdest moment at a con ever in the last years. Maybe, maybe there, this, was, this was a good there, story. There hasn't been the happening anything for the okay. past years. <laughs> So just as all is going fine, no things fell up or broke or you have to glue it or anything else? Um, well, yeah. Actually, the first costume I made when I used um, Warbluff for the very first time, mm. I didn't really knew how non-flexible yeah. it is. So I, I only fastened it with, um, with Velcro. And every time I was walking or tried to sit down, I could not sit down. Then oh, it would like open on the side. <laughs> so I, I could only like crouch in really, really uncomfortable positions to kind of have a nice picture. But um, yeah, even though things like that happen, you learn for the next time. So I also learned very well not to use Velcro with Warble anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really just those experiences. Take a few more, yeah. um, more knowledge Try for next arrow. time. Yes. So... It's fine. It's no no terrible accidents. Um, accidents <laughs> like if I would we be wearing something like this and then the band snapping or uh, something oh, that did shit. not happen. Luckily. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Will. Okay, thank you. So thank you very much. This was a nice talk. I hope we can see each other again at the next convention. Maybe, maybe, maybe here in Germany. Maybe, maybe, baby. maybe, maybe. Yeah. But we will see you later at the Cosplay Catwalk. So give a warm hand for Lucy Bell. She looks so amazing. Thank you very much. I take the sword. <laughs>